The French Army chief witnessed the firepower demonstration of Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launchers at Mohajan Field Firing Range in Rajasthan. Indian Army's Eastern Command Infantry and Mechanized Units fired more than 260 anti-tank guided missiles in the past two weeks at the T-Star Firing Range. Two Indian Coast Guard ships have docked in Sri Lanka, for training and professional interactions with the Sri Lankan Coast Guard. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is preparing the first two units of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets for delivery to the Indian Air Force next week. The US has imposed a new sanctions package against Russia, that directly threatens Russian oil exports to India. Indian firm DG Propulsion Private Limited has successfully completed one hour endurance test of its DG J40 jet engine, that makes it ideal for powering jet powered UAVs. Embraer officials have said that the C390 local production with Mohindra Defence includes sourcing more than 60% of the aircraft systems and components from Indian companies. Adani Defence and Aerospace has announced the use of artificial intelligence for quality control and predictive maintenance at its newly inaugurated ammunition and missiles complex. Boeing has informed the Indian Air Force that it is offering the F-15 EX Eagle II fighter jet with India-specific enhancements under the MRFA program, and it is now ready to integrate Indian-made weapon systems on the aircraft. The India-specific enhancements will include avionics sensors and communication systems, and officials have said that the option to integrate Indian-made weapons systems onto the F-15 EX could be a major selling point for the Indian government. Boeing has said that the F-15EX has the fastest mission computer in the world, and it can carry up to 22 missiles including hypersonic missiles. Boeing has said that the F-15EX will be offered at significantly cheaper price than both the Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon. Adani Defence has confirmed that it will respond to the Indian Army's requirement for 800 mounted gun systems and 400 towed gun systems that will be based on Atmos 155mm 52 caliber truck mounted howitzer and towed variant. While responding to claims that Adani Group is merely assembling foreign equipment without pushing for localization, the CEO of Adani Defense has said that sometimes people get agitated without realizing how the industry functions, and the group is not merely focused on technology transfer, but also on building enough research and development capability to ensure that the next phase of any existing technology is developed in-house. Several friendly nations in the Middle East and North Africa region that operate Su-30 fighter jets, have shown interest in the BrahMos air-launched supersonic cruise missile. However, the BrahMos integration will not be a simple plug-and-play process, as it will require modifications on the Su-30 aircraft by Hindustan Aeronautics. Experts have said that this complexity highlights the crucial need of a strong partnership between Indian firms and potential buyers of BrahMos air-launched variant. Today's top 3 comments.